Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show how to block network traffic or this card packet without the use of access list. First thing I am going to describe the diagram. We have two LANs. First LAN is 172, has network address 172.16.0.0 with default subnet mask. It is populated with one host only. The second LAN has network address 172.31.0.0 with default subnet mask and it is populated with two hosts. Now, for host 1, I'm going to, to check the network parameters 172.16.0.1. This is a default subnet mask and this is a default gateway. I will ping the default gateway to check reachability. Uh, let's see if it works. Yes, it's replying, so everything is okay. Now, I go to host 2. Host 2, I will check the network parameters IP address, subnet mask, default gateway. Uh, I ping to the default gateway and you see that it replies Ho from host 3 uh, I check the network parameters and ping to the default gateway so normally it should reply yes here it is so everything is fine now once done I go to routers RTA from RTA I'm going to type show run show run a configuration which shows the IP address assigned to the fast Ethernet interface of router RTA which plays the role of default gateway IP address for all hosts on network 172.16.0.0. This is the IP address for the serial interface. The, the static route, here we are using the static route, which says that in case router RTA receives a packet intended to network for network 172.31.0.0 with a subnet mask 255.255.0.0, forward the packet to the next hop IP address 192.168.0.2, which is the IP address of the serial interface of router on router RTB. Now the same thing on router RTB. I'm going to display the configuration for router RTB. Right now it says this is the IP address of the fast Ethernet interface, which plays the role of the default gateway. This is the IP address of the serial interface 000, and this is the static route that we are using, which states that whenever router RTB receives a packet for a network. Uh, 172.16.0.0 subnet mask 255.255.0.0 forward the packet to the next hop IP address 192.168.0.1 which is router RTA. Now from host 1 we'll check if there is a reachability between the two lands. From host 1 I ping LAN 172.31.0.1 Is there a reachability? Is there a reply? Yes, it is replying. I'm going to ping also the second host on network 172.31, there is a reply. Let's check if we are really going through routers. So here I have to use the command trace route, and then from trace route I, I type the IP address 172.31.0.1. Well, it shows that it goes through the default gateway IP address, IP address of the serial interface on the router RTB, and finally the target IP address. Uh, from here I also trace route to uh, host uh, 3, which has IP address 172.31.0.2, so everything is fine. No need to do the same, uh, the same, the same, yeah, the testing, the same test from the other side, because since from if from host 1 I can reach host 2 and host 3, the other way around is also true. Well, we did not do specific kind of configuration that will uh, act otherwise. Uh, coming to that, now I will show you how to block traffic without the use of access list. I go to router RTA, look at the static route. Now what I do, I'm going to conf I, I will disable, I'll delete the static route that I have, no IP route 172.31.0.0. Okay. Instead, I'm going to put this IP route 172.31.0.0 with the subnet mask. And instead of putting the IP address of next hub, uh, IP address of the next hub router, I put the null interface, null zero. So any packet destined to network 172.31.0.0 will simply be dropped at the in the null interface, it will be discarded. Here, the null interface will act as a sync for that packet. Now, let's see if it works. Now, from host 1, I will ping host 2. You see, it doesn't work. Destination host enrichable. I try with host 3. 
the same thing. Now, what about if I ping from host 2? I ping um, uh, host 1, 172.16.0.1. Does it work? No, it doesn't. But here it shows a different message, a different output, which is request timer. Here it is timing out. Why? Because simply host 2 is sending the ICMP call request to host 1, which is received, but the reply gets stuck and by the serial by this interface, null interface. It is discarded through the null interface. Now this is one way. Now if we don't want to block the complete network, for example, you see, we can do something like this. Uh, I put I, I add a route, IP route one uh, okay I delete the previous one, no IP route. 172.31.0.0 with okay I delete the previous entry that I entered in the routing table now I will type this one IP route 172.31.0.0.255.255.0.0.192.168.0.2 here I'm, I'm going back to my previous configuration where any packet destined to network 172.31.0.0 with this subnet mask will be forwarded to the next hop IP address but also I can specify a particular host and say if a packet will go to this particular host let's say host 3 172.31.0.2 and subnet mask here will be very specific to that host simply drop the packet or send it to the null interface which will act as a sync for that packet so the packet will be simply removed or block it. We will not go to the destination machine. Now let's display again the running configuration. We have two entries in routing table, or we can type it like this. So IP route. It shows we have two entries. The first entry indicates how to reach any house on network 172.31.0.0. Simply from one of the packet to one to IP address 192.168.0.2, and the second static entry shows that if you send a packet to the particular host, a specific host, simply you drop the packet, you send the packet to the non interface, not zero interface, so the packet will be uh, will, will sync into that interface. Uh, of course, here it doesn't matter whether this entry is put first or second or whatever because routing table because the router will choose the more the most specific route or the most specific entry uh, for the destination uh, and then it will use that entry so let's check now what happens from host 1 if I'm in host 1 I ping host 2 like this does it work? yes it's working fine what about if I ping host 2? it doesn't work you see now I can I block the traffic which goes to a specific host 1 host but I allow traffic which goes to any house on network 172.31.0.0 this is possible, so it is possible now with this technique with this technique actually by using the null interface we block traffic based on IP addresses unfortunately we cannot use, we cannot block traffic based on part numbers or, uh, or uh, particular services this is not possible Thank you for viewing this uh, demo. This is Hakimadish. Bye.